Hey folks, Justin Seitz here from AutomatingOSINT.com and I'm just going to quickly show you how to get Python 2.7 installed on Windows so that you can actually uh, use Python on your Windows machine as well as being able to use pip to install packages. So what you want to do is head to python.org as can be imagined this is the primary site where you will download Python. Of course there's documentation and a whole community um, this is really where you can actually go for a lot of resources as well on Python programming. So if you click on the downloads link, you're going to want Python 2.7. So this is what I use on my blog and in my training is Python 2.7. Do not download Python 3. There are a number of libraries that will not work correctly with Python 3. There are also some subtle nuances. Uh, with Python 3 that I do not cover in my training or course. So Python 2.7 always and when we run the installer of course we can verify that it's from the Python Foundation. You can select install from all users and just keep clicking next. I'm sure this is how most of you like me install software. And once we're done installing we're gonna actually verify that everything is set up correctly. Now the great thing is is that as you'll see here it's actually installing pip for you as well so this is a very useful thing for you now you can hit uh, Windows button R or the run command in your start menu and type CMD and that's going to take you into one of these prompts so Python by default uh, gets loaded into C colon backslash Python 27 so if you drop into that and the scripts directory is where pip lives so we can say from this directory, we can say pip install request, which is a library that I use lots in the blog and in the training. So this is how we're validating that pip works, and it does. This is awesome. But one of the things that uh, we need to do is actually validate that it installed correctly. And so we can drop into a Python shell by just typing Python, and we can go import requests. And then, of course, we'll use the request module to just send a get request to uh, the automatingosint.com website and if it comes back properly we know everything's working and we got a 200 back so that means it was a successful HTTP request and we can exit. Now one thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to make sure that we can type Python or pip from anywhere on the system. Uh, right now we can't do that uh, so we need to set what's called the path variable. So if you right click on my computer, this is Windows 7, and go properties. And then what we're going to do is go to advanced system settings. And we click on environment variables. I'm not going to I'm not gonna get into the uh, whole what an environment variable is, but safe to say the path environment variable, which we're going to find here if you double click on it, is going to allow us to actually tell the computer or tell Windows where Python lives and where pip lives. So all we have to do is type in the path c colon backslash python27 and that's going to give us the ability to run Python from anywhere and c colon backslash python27 slash scripts which is going to tell us where pip is so the computer is going to be aware of where pip is no matter where we uh, where we execute it from and we just keep clicking OK. Now you're gonna have to close your CMD window or type exit and open a new one. So Windows key R or the run command in your start menu. And now you can see we're in C users Justin. And if we type Python from there, even though we're not in the proper Python directory, Python still executes. So that's how we know that we set up our environment variables correctly. We can also test that uh, pip works from any directory and it does. So pip install request, it's telling us we've already installed it. And so that's literally it. We run a couple of installers, we execute some commands, and uh, very quickly now we are completely set up to run Python 2.7 with pip. So you can now go to my uh, blog at automatingosynt.com blog, and you can start working through some of the examples. Thank you very much.